Good morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day and ready for some coding today. All right. So if you haven't been with us before, I would recommend going back and doing these videos in order. So you should start with intro to Scratch, creating an aquarium using Scratch, then hippo level one. And now we're going to be leveling up that hippo game and we're going to create hippo level two. So here we go. Hope everybody's ready. I'm going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and play our game real quick. Remember, we have our our hippo it goes faster up, slower down. And we're dodging the cloud and the cloud just cycles back and forth. So here we go. Game over. We go to this blue screen. So a couple things I want to add to this game to make it a little bit better, to level it up. First thing is I want to score. You know, I, I want to see if I can do better each time. So we're going to put a score on there. And I want to change the way that cloud moves. We're, we're going to leave the cloud going across like it is. But instead of staying that constant speed, we're going to make it to where that cloud increases in speed. And then we're going to do a game over screen. Okay. Uh, and maybe if we have some time, we'll see how long this video is. We will we'll add some sound possibly. So here we go. We're going to go in and create our score. So I think on this, I want my score to go up every time I kind of go over the cloud or I dodge the cloud. So instead of putting the variable on my hippo, I'm going to go to my cloud and we're going to put the variable here. In Scratch, the way we create a variable is we go over here to the variables block and it's got some in here. But we're going to go ahead and make a variable and name the variable. We're going to call it score. And I'm just going to keep it score like that for all sprites for this sprite only. I'm going to create it for all sprites, but it's really for this cl this cloud, but you'll see why in a minute, why we're doing that. All right. So I've got this thing called score here. So I need to initialize my score to zero. So when we click the flag, we want our score to go to zero. Now this is my variable. I want that to be score. And you can see that Scratch automatically puts it up here on the screen for us. So set score to zero. My score now says zero. Now we need to make it to where it's going to increase. And it says change my variable by one. And that's what we want to do. Each time the cloud goes by, we're going to change it. So I'm going to make it change the score before it moves it. It just kind of keeps my code a little bit cleaner so that my score goes up and the cloud moves over. Now, if I wasn't happy with one, I could change that and go up by two or seven, you know, kind of like some sports do basketball, two, three pointers. We're going to keep it at one. You can do what you want, but I need to make sure this says score. So score set to zero, change score by one. So let's see if that works. And there my score goes. You can see it is going up. Oh, game over. I hit it. And we go to this screen, score is set to five. So I scored five and I play again and it goes. So it works, it went back to zero. Perfect. Now let's go and work with the speed of this cloud, okay? I'm already on cloud. So I'm gonna make a new variable. Now for all sprites, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do for this sprite only, okay? And it's going to be called um, speed, I'm going to use camel case, of cloud. Now, another thing I could do, and if you don't like camel case, you could always go and, or we could use underscores in there also. So camel case is where we, where we do the first letter of the second word is always capitalized. 
So now we have speed of cloud, but in camel case, the O in of and the C in cloud would be. A lot of times in programming, you don't want to put spaces in there. Um, so we try to keep from doing that. It can cause problems with programs. So good idea to just not get in the habit of putting that in there. So we've got this speed of cloud. Now, if I would have made this score for cloud, you see how it puts cloud um, colon in? It would have done cloud dot or colon score. And we, it just looks cleaner with it saying score. For now, we're going to use this for testing purposes, and then we'll move it off the screen when we're ready to make this more playable. So here we go. We need to program this to set our, our cloud speed. So here we go. I'm going to go into events, and I'm going to do a new one. We're going to call this, this would be kind of like a mod, uh, <coughs> excuse me, kind of like a function we're going to call. Um, we're going to set it over to the side. I just don't want to get it confused with the stuff that we did before. So we're going to set, just like we did before, we're going to set our speed. What am I doing? I need my variable. Boy, losing my mind. So here we go. We're going to initialize our speed. Now, if we initialize this at zero, my cloud won't move. So we don't want to do that. We want to see what our cloud was moving before. And if I look over here, my cloud is moving by 10. So we're going to do that over here, and that's a negative 10. So make sure we put in a negative 10. So my cloud should start moving at negative 10. If I test it, yep, we can see it's moving at that negative 10. Perfect. That's what we want. Now, I want a forever. Okay, so control. I want a forever. But before I do that forever, I'm going to grab a wait block because I don't want it to start changing speeds right away. So we're going to wait. I'm going to say, let's wait three seconds. So we're going to wait three seconds and then we're going to start changing that speed. So I'm going to go back to my variable and where it says change my variable by one, we're going to change speed of cloud by one but I don't want a positive one. I want to make sure we keep going more negative, right? When we're going across, when we're going right to left, it's a negative number. So let's make sure this works. That's where we're going to use this. We should see this start counting um, negative 10 to negative 11, 12, and so far, so far. So decrementing, going down, and look at it. There it goes. That cloud should be really speeding up, but... It didn't look like it was really speeding up. It doesn't look like this is attached to my um, to my my speed at all. So we're going to go to motion, and we need to do this move. Is that what we were doing? Were we moving by 10? Forever to change by negative 10. So we're going to pull this out real quick. We want this change by 10 out. And it should. We don't want, we want change X, sorry. Change X by 10, but we don't want to change X by 10. We want to change X by speed of cloud. Now let's try this. I'm going to play. Okay. So our initial movement is, oh, there it goes. Oh, it waited three seconds before it starts moving. And now I broke it. Okay. We got to go in and fix this. I'm 
wait our three seconds. And I still have it broke. Stop. Play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that worked, but boy, it goes too fast. So we need to put a long, we need to put a weight in here <laughs> or it will never be able to play this. All right, so now we're going to go into control. We're going to grab a weight. Now, we could do one second. I'm going to put in two because it's still going to go up pretty quick. So we're on our, whoops. We're on our count, three second countdown. And now we can see the speed of the cloud is speeding up. Ah, and I hit already. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Here we go. Not very good at playing this, but we're working on it. Up a little bit, then up. At a 17, so yeah, we got our score going up. It's definitely a harder game now to play. And our cloud doesn't pick up speed too fast. We want it picking up speed, but not too fast. So good, game over. Now, the next thing I want to work on is this here. I like it. I'm glad we go to here, but I'm, I'm not really happy with how it looks. So we just got to fix it a little bit. We're going to go over here to costumes. I'm on my blue background, so make sure I'm on my stage. And oops, I'm not on my stage. Sorry, guys. I was on my cloud. So now I'm on my stage. Make sure we click on it. We got our blue background. I just want a game over. So I'm going to grab a text block and type out game over. Click on it. Stretch it out. Whoa, too big, right? And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I think it was good before. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, game over. Did I tilt it? I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. I am going to mess with it. I'm using my arrow keys to, to move it around. I think I want to come down the screen a little bit. I like that. Yep. That's it. All right. So there's our game over screen. Last thing I said we could add to it is some sound. So let's go back in. And we're going to go back into our code. And I think when I go up, I want some type of sound. Now, it starts with the meow. I'd play this, but it drives me crazy. So what are we going to do for sound? Well, we're going to go look up. And they've got all kinds of sounds. Animals, dog, squeak, snort, seagull, all kinds of things. The seagull might be funny for the hippo, especially if maybe I had some sound. That might be kind of funny for this for the hippo, or yeah, for the hippo. So we got seagull. So we're going to go back in the code and I'm just kind of showing you how this works. So we're going to go to sound. So we're going to do if the up arrow start seagull sound. And then I'm going to put it out of here to stop seagull sound. So it starts and stops. So let's see how that works. <clears throat> it works pretty good, but it's not making that seagull sound, right? If I get out the stop, 
Whoa. We're going to pull out the stop sound. So you can you can see how the sound kind of needs the stop in there, but it, it also ruins the sound if we stop it too soon. I'm going to let it stay that way. I kind of like that. Makes it sound like the wings are flapping. All right, and then I'm going to go to the cloud, and when we hit when background switches, we're going to go into sounds. And we're going to search. And I want something like an effect. And Boing. Hmm. Some of those are getting close to what I want. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one. And we're going to add that into our code. So we're going to go sound, which we're on. Um, play wobble until done. So we play. Got some sound going up. And dunk. Not really good. Um, we could change it a little bit. <clears throat> And we could change the sound to something we recorded, but that's what we got right now. And I'm happy with that. You guys can change it around as you want, but you kind of have a complete game. If you would like, you can always grab this and, and move it around, put it somewhere where it's out of your way. Okay. I can right click on it and hide it. Don't need it anymore. And there we go. We've got our game. Until next time, happy coding.